In this video, we'll be finding the area of a region, and it will involve integrating the natural logarithm function. So the rule that we just learned is the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the, the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. Um, for composite functions, it's the same, but with uh, the u substitution. So our problem is to find the area of the region bounded by y equals x over x squared plus 1, the x-axis, and the line x equals 3. Now we can see that our graph of this function looks uh, like this. So let me sketch that real quick here. And we're going from, uh, that's my upper bound, the x-axis, and the line x equals 3. So we're going to deal with this section, my uh, representative rectangle. We're going to be finding the area of these rectangles as x moves from 0 to 3. The width of the rectangle is dx. And the height of the rectangle is our function minus 0. So just our function. So this is my height of my rectangle, width of my rectangle. Um, let's let u equal x squared plus 1. Then the derivative will equal 2x dx. So my problem has the x and the dx in it. I need to... Get that 2 over with the du. So this is uh, 1 half du equals x dx. So let's rewrite our problem with uh, u substitution. I'm going to wait on the limits of integration and just use the 0 and 3 after I've subbed back in. So I'm going to leave this blank for the time being. So um, let's see, 1 over uh, u times x times 1 half du. Now I can pull the 1 half in front. And I know that this is the natural log of u, or absolute value of u. And I don't need my plus a constant because remember I have uh, boundaries this time. Let's sub back in, x squared plus 1 goes in for u. And we're evaluating that from 0 to 3. Now notice on this one, x squared is positive. Adding 1 to that, that'll still be positive. So I really don't need my absolute value. 
bars. Let's go ahead and sub back in. We have one half. Ln. And then uh, 3 squared is 9. Plus 1 is 10. Minus. And then. Let me just do this. I can. Ln of 0 squared is 0, plus 1 is 1. Ln of 1 uh, is 0. If you um, have forgotten that, remember that the base is e. So to get the value of ln 1, you're asking yourself e raised to what power gives me 1? And anything raised to the zero power gives you one. So this is equal to zero. So I have one half ln ten. if I wanted to get a value for that. One, I'll use 0.5 ln 10. Looks like approximately 1.15. 1 